I to mention this week is Severe Weather Awareness Week. We just had Jody Myman here yesterday morning for mm -hmm. Metro Emergency Services talking about its importance. Mm -hmm. This morning we're focusing on watches versus warnings. Right, so Sam and Christina, we hear those words all the time, but there are actually some very key differences in the two things. Right, guys, and today is day two, actually, of Severe Weather Awareness Week. And, uh, well, normally day two is actually tornado safety and what you can do to stay safe during tornadoes. And the big difference here with Christina, along with, uh, with, with tornadoes being the main culprit today and what we're talking about, uh, the difference between a watch and a warning is yeah. extremely important with tornadoes. Yeah, and you know, a lot of folks get it confused, understandably so, because it can be confusing. It seems simple, but a watch right. versus a warning, totally different. So the way that I like to to explain it anytime I'm giving a school talk to kiddos, right? Mm -hmm. It's talking about making cookies. So you have your flour, your sugar, your chocolate chips, say you put peanut butter, love peanut butter on some cookies. You have all of your ingredients, say they're on the stove top, you have your spatula, you already mixed it, but those cookies aren't made just yet. They're just sitting on top of that stove. That's your watch. Your ingredients are there, but you don't have your cookies, aka you don't have, say, your tornado or your severe thunderstorm. The warning would be when you take those cookies out of the oven and put them back on that stovetop, you have your cookies, and that's your warning, Sam. Hopefully that breaks it down. Exactly, and the same thing with tornadoes then. So exactly, a watch means that conditions are favorable uh, when the National Weather Service issues it. That You don't need to take warning immediately, but with a watch, it's just kind of a heads up to monitor the situation, and when a warning's issued, that's when you need to be taking shelter and acting uh, immediately when you do have that warning issued. So of course, it's Severe Weather Awareness Week for the next seven days, and we'll be talking day by day about the different hazards and what to do when severe weather does strike.